Hi everyone! So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do the web diagram for game 3 from Prep Test 29. Uh, we have seven players for this one, uh, so they'll be represented by the following letters F, G, H, J, K, L, and S. Seven. Um, and uh, we are ordering them. Right, they're, they're being presented consecutively, um, one at a time. Consecutively, one at a time adds up to mean that we're not going to have any ties. Um, none of the players can occupy the same position as one another. So I'll just draw them out um, a little horizontal series here um, from first to seventh. Okay. Um, G isn't first. So that's one way to represent that. H is sometime before K. L is sometime before J. Okay, so so far we haven't been able to connect these guys. Um, F is either immediately before or immediately after H. So, I mean, there are a couple ways that we can represent that. Um, I'm just going to put F on top of H there. So these guys are stuck together and F can be either before or after. Um, and then K is presented either immediately before or immediately after L. So K and L now need to be connected. Um, so L and J. Um, so in these little boxes, these guys can can flip, right? So I can have HF or FH, KL or LK. Those are my options there. So a couple ways that we can we can represent that. Um, all right, so that's all of the rules um, and all of these rules come together to create this final diagram um, or this one if, uh, if you prefer uh, this look, that's fine. Um, just knowing that you can switch these guys back and forth. Um, yeah, so five of our players are represented in this web diagram. So two of them are missing. G is missing, right? But G isn't completely unrestricted, right? G isn't a total wild card. Um, and S is missing. And S is a total wild card. So I'm going to want to circle S, star it, um, just make sure that I'm not forgetting about S. Um, S, of course, could be either first or last or anywhere in between. Um, and, uh, and then uh, out of these players, um, H or F could be first. Um, J could be last. And neither K nor L could be first or, or last. Um, and G could be last but can't be first. So always kind of a good idea to make note of those things. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there are, um, there's also the possibility here of sort of splitting the world, but then you're going to end up with four different possibilities. Um, I'll show you just, uh, for the sake of the, the practice and in, in splitting and, and just sort of demonstrating how you would actually end up with four. So, um, I'm going to start two of the worlds with H before F, um, H before F, and then KL for the next one. I also have to show a world where H is before F, but L is before K, right? And then J would be after that. Um, and then I have to do the two worlds where F is before H. And one of them, K would be before L, but there's also the possibility that L could be before K. So I have to demonstrate all of that. So when I have two OR rules or um, two situations where I have two possibilities, I'm going to end up with four worlds there. Okay, so two to the power of two, if you um, remember that from maybe studying uh, permutations at some point in math. Um, but don't worry too much about that. Um, just think about it logically um, as demonstrating all of the possible options um, and, and practice it, right? Um, practice makes perfect to be super cliche. 
All right, great. So if you have any questions, do let me know. Um, you can leave a comment or send me a message. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck with the questions.